So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is monitoring multiple projects with cloud monitoring. So click on start lab and here we have to work on two project ID. So first of all we have to create virtual machine on second project ID. So as you can see first of all you can start the lab and open cloud console incognito window. Here it is getting signed in automatically you may be prompted for username and password. So enter from lab instruction now click on understand. Now from here you have to click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now you have to check the project ID as you can see it's first project ID. So see here are the project IDs but we have to select second project ID for this task. So just select the second one that is GCP04. Now wait for the page to fully load. Now here you need to click on compute engine on the search box. You can also type virtual machine on the search box. You will be redirected there. So wait for the page to fully load. Here we have to click on create instance. You have clicked on create instance. Copy the name from here and paste on the name now for region it's same if change is required enter from lab instruction and for zone also update it now we don't have to make any other changes so just click on create and wait for the instance to get ready and when you hit check my progress for this task you'll get the score without any issue now here we have to create a monitoring group so make sure you are in the project id 2 only don't switch so now here we will be configuring our project id 1 so for that you have to just type on the search box monitoring and click on monitoring so now just follow the way i am saying in showing on the video so basically close the unwanted pop-up and here scroll down and see the settings click on it now wait for the settings to load Meanwhile, in case you are new to this channel, do subscribe the channel and like the video. Now here we have to add the project. So for that, you have to click on metric scoop and from here click on add GCP projects. So basically here we have to select projects and select project ID 1. So you have to cross verify whether this is or not. So from left panel, you can see the project ID 1. This is our project ID 1. Make sure to close verify and then select and then click on select. Now click on add projects. Your project has been added. Now here we have to create a group that is basically demo group. Name may be update in future. So do check the lab for that. Now copy the name and from here just you can see just above settings groups are present. So just click on it. Now click on demo group. I mean create group. Here enter the name. Remove this unwanted pop-up and here the value will be instance. So from here select carefully make sure there is no any extra space or dot. So here enter it. Now click on done and then create. Now wait for it to get created. So finally it's now let's hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue. Now here we have to create an uptime check and alerting. So first of all click on uptime check. Now click on create uptime check. Now from here resource type will be instance and it will be apply to group. Select the demo group which is just created recently. Now we don't have to make any other changes. Click on continue, continue and here select the name mentioned on the lab instruction. Now click on continue, enter the name. So here you may get error or you may not get error. So even if you get error, let me show you. Just click on create and you will get the score. Don't worry guys, ignore this error. Just click on create. So finally our uptime check has also been created. Now we will hit check my progress. We will get the score without any issue. Now basically here we have to add the group. So for that again we have to click on alerting so as you can see just above 
so click on alerting wait for the page to fully load now here click on create policy now for metric type just type check past as you can see on the task at id number 7 so just you have to copy the name that is check past and copy it carefully so close this active instance and from vim instance of time check check past apply so finally it's done we have to now add a filter as you can see we have to add a filter that is demo of time check so here click on add a filter select check id and for value if there is no drop down just copy from here to here and paste it ignore if it not showing any drop down now click on done now here we have to configure the trigger so for configuring the trigger just select the as you can see on left side configure trigger is there now here we have to select metric absence and configure it so click on it click on next so now you have to toggle off the notification that we need not we don't have to use the notification basically so copy the name from here and now paste here next and then you have to click on create remove this unwanted pop-up and click on create policy so finally we are done with this lab guys if you like the video do like it and do subscribe the channel also i will see you guys in the next